Toronto, Munich, Frankfurt. What do all of these world-class cities have in common? Well, all of them are in a, re a real estate bubble. UBS just did a study and found that these three cities are in the maximum risk of uh, a real estate bubble popping. Now, I live, I live in Toronto and I can tell you firsthand what the situation is over here. The standalone home prices, they are going up and uh, they will not fall uh, drastically over the next one year. But the, the real bubble is in the Toronto condo market. And the reason is that most, uh, most people don't actually live in these condos. Uh, it is these are held by overseas investors who hold these condos for investment purposes and rent them out. Now, uh, with the world economy the way it is, uh, everyone needs liquidity. And so there's a high chance a lot of these investors will sell these condos right now to take advantage of uh, the relatively higher prices. And uh, plus the Toronto rental market, uh, it, it's, seeing, uh, it's seeing a shift and it's becoming a renter's market right now. The rental prices, they've fallen uh, they've fallen drastically over the past three to four months by as much as 10 to 15 percent all in rental prices has made it difficult for investors to turn a profit each month because a lot of uh, a lot of investors what they do is they buy the buy the condo and then rent it out at a higher price so actually they're making a bit of a profit uh, after mortgage and all other expenses are taken into account and now with the rents going down and a lot of condos not being up on rent uh the demand uh so it's it's becoming harder to make a profit uh that way and again uh the condo market is overheated and it has uh the prices have doubled in the past six to seven years so it has gone up by a by a big amount and the third and the third reason is that a lot of businesses are moving out of Toronto uh, because of the work from home uh, trend which is going on right now. Uh, a lot of companies, they're finding that it doesn't make sense to pay these ridiculously high prices in, the down in downtown when everyone can work from home and they can open up uh, an office uh, in Mississauga or Burlington or in another suburb for way cheaper prices. Uh, so with the businesses moving out and the work from home becoming a trend, there is no reason anymore to live downtown and pay such high prices. Everyone is trying to move out uh, to places like Hamilton, Burlington, Oakville, where there's much more space and you get a better bang for your buck. Uh, so because of all these reasons, I feel that the Toronto condo market will depreciate by at least 15 to 20 percent in the next year. And uh, there is a definite bubble in the market. And after a year, year and a half, it would be the best time to uh, buy a condo in Toronto. So I totally agree with the... Um, study by UBS that Toronto is in a bubble but very specifically the condo market uh, I, I don't really know about Munich and Frankfurt but Frankfurt is in a similar position because it's a business hub uh, and uh, lots all companies all over Europe they open up offices in Frankfurt and again uh, work from home is happening so they they would not feel the need to pay such high rents in uh, in Frankfurt's downtown or the city. And a lot of people would be moving out of the city into much more comfortable uh, houses or apartments uh, in the suburbs. So guys, th this is my opinion on the Toronto property market and a little bit of uh, insight into the market of Frankfurt which seems a bit similar to Toronto what's your opinion do you think the prices would go up in the next year or go down
and do you also think the house house prices will go down along with the condo market uh, please let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you soon in the next video